deja vu. That strange feeling that you've done this before. Sometime after Jesus had risen from the dead, seven of his disciples decided to go fishing again. They catch nothing all night. A man standing on the shore rubs salt into their wounds. Have you caught anything? Nope. Try the other side of the boat, calls the man on shore. And bam, so many fish, the boat is sinking. Deja vu. It was the same story as the first time Jesus called them to be his disciples. At that point, Peter abandons his fishing partners and throws himself overboard, Jonah style, to pass through the water and arrive safely with his Lord. When everyone finally makes it to shore with the 153 fish, they find Jesus already has fish cooking for them, along with some bread. Deja vu again. Jesus had fed thousands upon thousands with a few fish and a bit of bread twice before. But this time, the scene changes ever so slightly. Jesus asked his disciples to bring some fish. Why the change? Well, since the days of Christ's ascension, bread and fish have been a symbol for the sacrament of the altar. Jesus is here teaching his church what we are to do. The church brings bread and wine to Christ, and he adds his body and blood to it by the power of his word. Then Jesus gives the bread and the wine with his body and blood to the church to eat and drink for the forgiveness of sins. Just as the disciples knew that it was the Lord when they saw the bread and the fish, so you are to know that when you see bread and wine in the sacrament, it's the Lord. No need to ask questions. No need to try and rationalize it out. To the bread, Jesus adds his body given on the cross for you. To the wine, Jesus adds his blood shed on the cross for you. In this miraculous meal, you are forgiven. Now, final thought about verse 14 of John 21. Jesus tells us that this was the third time Jesus was revealed to them, the disciples, after he was raised from the dead. The first time, Jesus breathes on them and gives them the office of the keys, the absolution. This third time, Jesus gives them bread and fish, the sacrament of the altar, after they've been in the water, pointing to holy baptism. The second time is a bit cryptic from John. It's in chapter 20, verses 30 and 31. There you learn that God's holy word is sufficient for you to believe that Jesus is the Christ, your Savior, and that by believing in him, you will have life, eternal life. John has told you that Jesus has given you every gift that you need to join him in the life that is to come. Jesus gives himself to you in his word, in holy baptism, in the absolution, and in the sacrament of the altar, so that you may know with confidence that your sin is forgiven and eternity with him awaits. It's all for you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Did we do good? Is that is that okay? If if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.